Today's video is brought to you by the upcoming first-person shooter called Destiny Warfare. This is a game that will be released on Android for free on April 19th. Destiny Warfare is like a big combination of Titanfall, Destiny, and of course Overwatch. Featuring full-on clan support, rich 3D graphics, complete customization of weapons and gadgets, you shouldn't have any issue taking out your competition. Remember, this does not release until April 19th, but you can pre-register with the link in the description below. Using that link will give you a huge head start, as you'll receive a free 400 gold pack right off the bat. The Imperial Gunner who refused to fire upon the escape pod with the hidden Death Star plans quite possibly changed the course of galactic history in a manner he never could have imagined. It's safe to say that had he actually destroyed the escape pod, that the Rebellion would never have acquired the plans, denying them the chance of ever destroying the Death Star, and most likely failing to overthrow the Empire in the long run. So what happened to the Imperial Gunner whose single decision led to the downfall of the Empire? Well, the guy who gave the order to not shoot at the lifeformless escape pod was an Imperial Gunnery captain named Bolvin. His decision to not shoot at the lifeformless escape pod was motivated over simply not wishing to do any of the tedious paperwork he would have to file under law enforced by the Imperial Senate, which was in place to ensure the military didn't commit war crimes. On top of that, because there weren't any living beings inside the escape pod, destroying it would have hurt his overall shot-to-kill ratio, which would have hurt his chances of attaining a promotion. Time went by, and reports came about how despite the Tantive IV being completely ripped apart, that the stolen Death Star plans had yet to be discovered. This caused Bolvin to wonder whether or not the plans could possibly have been transported on the single escape pod he refused to destroy. Later, after finding out that he was the only gunner not to destroy an escape pod, and that the plans have yet to be found on the main rebel ship, Bolvin began to panic as he realized the plans had to be within the escape pod he didn't destroy. Wishing to avoid being punished for his lack of action, Bolvin approached his friend named Arvira, who worked within the Star Destroyer's logistics and data work system. He explained to her what had happened, and was hoping she could do something within the network to make it seem like the gunnery system was faulty, or something along those lines. Anything to make it seem like it was a system failure, rather than his poor decision making that had caused the escape pod to bypass him. Arvira calmed him down, telling Bolvin that he owed her a huge favor for what she was about to do. First thing she did was schedule Bolvin's gunnery partner, named Haji, to embark on a tedious task of inspecting all the exterior turbo lasers of the Star Destroyer while inside a spacesuit. This day-long task would have isolated Haji from everyone else, who was the only witness to Bolvin's actions. Arvira then messed with the data work to make it seem like a cleaning and maintenance session had taken place in front of Bolvin's viewports during the battle. These cleaning and maintenance sessions done by droids were known to block the viewports, giving the impression that Bolvin simply didn't see the escape pod due to this error in the maintenance scheduling. So the blame now was going to be placed on whomever was in charge of scheduling the maintenances, who would likely be the one explaining himself to Lord Vader. After many thanks for what Arvira had done, Bolvin later repaid her with credits by purposely losing at a game of cards to her to cover the fact he was really paying her for the favor she had done for him. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.